Do you think whales are peaceful ocean creatures? Believe me, not all of them are friendly. Since ancient times, the world ocean has been inhabited by predatory and cruel cetaceans, and nowadays they're still there in the sea abyss. It's worth learning more about them. In this episode, I'll tell you about the most dangerous whales in the world and show you what they can do. Liviatin Milvelli It's hard to believe, but in ancient times, the ocean was inhabited by whales so dangerous that even the legendary Megalodon was afraid of them. One such predator whale was Liviatin Milvelli, which lived in the ocean during the Miocene some 12 million years ago. At that time, the seas were inhabited by many species of animals and fish, so the voracious giants did not know any deficit in food. Liviatin Milvelli did clash with Megalodon. The two carnivores were about equal in size. Paleontologists consider it unlikely that they could have hunted each other, but in the battle for prey, they may have attacked each other. What creature would have emerged victorious from this fight if it happened in reality? Most scientists would bet on Liviatin Milvelli. The fossil remains of this ancient monster were found quite recently, in November 2008. They were found 35 kilometers southwest of the town of Ica in the southern part of Peru. As a whole, because of active tectonic process, this region was considered not the most successful for paleontological researches. However, one of the formations continued to attract scientists from all over the world. Namely, here it was possible to find the remains of many cetaceans, some of which were 10 million years older than Liviatin Milvelli. So Liviatin Milvelli inhabited the ocean off the coast of modern South America. But was their habitat limited to this? Usually, these whales preferred to settle in relatively shallow waters where there was the greatest variety of potential prey. However, in search of better territory, they migrated. Some scientists believe that individuals of this species have swum as far as the coast of North America and even Australia. History of the name The whale was named after Leviathan, the formidable sea monster from the Old Testament. The name seems ideal for the giant prehistoric whale. The species received its official name after the results of a study of the remains were published in 2010. To distinguish the terms, however, it was necessary to add a defining addition to the word Leviathan and change the word Leviathan a bit. As a tribute to the famous writer Herman Melville, the author of Moby Dick, it was decided to use his last name. Of course, the sperm whale fictionalized by the writer was not really Leviathan, and Herman Melville died a long time before the first remains of the ancient whale were discovered. Study Despite the fact that over the last 10 years, many articles about the ancient sperm whale have been published, most of the information that scientists operate with is only speculation. These assumptions are based on the study of the behavior of related species and, of course, on the physical parameters of the found remains. By the way, the only part of Liviatin Milvelli's body found is its head. In addition to the whole skull, paleontologists also managed to find the giant's teeth. Despite the obvious similarities with sperm whales, some biologists are convinced that Liviatin Milvelli was much more reminiscent of the modern killer whales that are known as orcas. The Ancestors of Whales Liviatin Milvelli is historically classified as Physoteroidea, a member of the toothed whale parvorder, with a history of about 20 million years. The only surviving Physoteroidea are pygmy sperm whale and sperm whale. Scientists take into account some extinct species as well, but they were often not similar to Liviatin Milvelli in size and even in appearance. So how big was Liviatin Milvelli? The body length of the predator was from 13 to 17 and a half meters. The giant weighed a lot, about 50 tons, which is equivalent to the weight of 10 adult elephants. Liviatin Milvelli's physical parameters can be compared with modern sperm whales but they obviously could not reach those of real giants, blue whales. However, the Liviat and Milvelli's case is exactly the one in which size doesn't matter. Despite their outward resemblance to the sperm whales we're familiar with, Liviat and Milvelli were much more aggressive and dangerous. Giant Predators The need to constantly consume large amounts of food led to the fact that Liviat and Milvelli became the most skillful hunters. Like Physiteroidea whales, Liviat Milvelli could boast spermaceti organs. Huge, convex forehead of this creature concealed cavities filled with structures of oil, wax, and connective tissue, which allowed them to cope with the pressure of rapid diving to great depths. 
However, judging by the enormous size of Liviat Milvelli's skull, its spermaceti organs could also have been used for other purposes. The guess was made by analogy with the sperm whales of today, which use the mechanisms when diving deep in search of squids. But why would their ancestors have gone to great depths when, in their era, a huge number of species lived in shallow water right underneath their noses? Scientists don't rule out that the cavities in the head helped the ancient sperm whale to learn echolocation or served as a transmitter to communicate with other whales. There's also a theory that Liviat Milvelli could use its huge forehead as a battering ram. In addition to its powerful forehead, Liviat Milvelli had other trumps in the hunt. According to researchers, this species is considered to have the longest teeth of all living and extinct vertebrates. To prove the theory, physical evidence is provided. I'm talking about several fossilized teeth, each about 12 centimeters in diameter and up to 36 centimeters long. Liviat Milvelli, which was at the top of the food chain, needed to eat hundreds of kilograms of food every day, not only to maintain its mass but also to maintain its warm-blooded metabolism because whales are mammals. For a living creature of this size, any prey was suitable, but the bigger, the better. Scientists believe that smaller whales, seals, and dolphins of the Miocene were the main dishes in the menu of these hunters. Of course, Liviat Milvelli also hunted other living creatures, sharks, squids, and large fish. Liviat Milvelli could reach high speed during the attack on their prey, so it was not easy to get away from such a hunter. We can only be glad that these giant predatory whales have not lived to this day. Otherwise, the history of the conquest of the ocean could have been very different for mankind. Extinction But why did Liviat Milvelli become extinct? Scientists still don't agree on reasons for the extinction. The most popular theory in the scientific world is a significant drop of the ocean temperature, which resulted in a decrease in the number of available prey. The same temperature drop may have also caused a gradual decrease in the size of existing species of marine life. To put it simply, Liviat and Movelli did not have enough food. By the way, it's believed that Megalodon became extinct for the same reason. Liviat and Milvelli's Descendant Now that we've dealt with the title of the largest and most dangerous whale of antiquity, it's time to talk about its descendants. What do you know about killer whales? The scientific name of the species is Orca. Biologically speaking, the killer whale belongs to the oceanic dolphin family, of which it's the largest member. The killer whale can be considered the largest member of its family, plus it's the only true predator among the modern cetaceans that chase warm-blooded animals. So why are orcas known by such a terrible name? It turns out that the killer whale title does not come from the fact that these creatures outwardly resemble whales. Sailors and whalers decided to call them that after watching orcas kill whales of other species. The killer whale is at the top of the food chain in marine nature and has virtually no natural enemies. Like many marine mammals, this species prefers to live and hunt in small groups using complex tactical and even strategic schemes. For example, when searching for fish, orca swarms usually turn in a chain and swim at a speed of about 5 km per hour. Echolocation signals allow each animal to determine its position relative to the others, stay in contact with them, and participate in the general activity of the group. Orcas press a detected school of fish to the shore or gather them in a tight ball near the water surface, dive into its center and turn and stun the fish with strokes of their tail. Because a large flock of hunters is required for drive hunting, groups of orcas include an average of 5 to 15 individuals. Orca's echolocation is so precise that it allows them to determine not only the distance and size, but even the shape of objects and creatures. Killer whales have an excellent idea of what creature they're hunting. Perhaps this is why there are no recorded attacks on humans. Unlike sharks, which can mistake a person for a seal and attack a person just to check, killer whales see us perfectly. They're simply not interested in us as prey. Ruthless Hunters in Action so, orcas can be considered one of the most skilled hunters in the ocean. It's time to see them in action. Most often, orcas hunt schools of small fish. There are always plenty of them around, and therefore such prey does not require long chasing. Their favorite fish is tuna, but this fish is very fast and not easy to catch. However, usually this does not stop orcas. They will chase their prey until it's exhausted. When there's enough of such small food in the habitat, 
orcas live quite peacefully together with other cetaceans. However, when the time of hunger comes, orcas attack whales, dolphins, pinnipeds, and even penguins without a second thought. The size of the victim does not matter. If it's big, orcas act in a group. When orcas fail to kill their prey with a single blow, they make it tired and kill it by biting off the meat from its body. That's all, guys. Would you risk swimming with a killer whale? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.